How's it, Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com? Coming out here on Wednesday, August the 24th, as we get this video to you. A little bit earlier today, have your free pick winner in just a second. Today, nice free pick winner on the Yankees, of course, and that brings us to a nice 5 and one free pick run, including 129 and 98 as well. So uh, we gave you the Yankees uh, on Tuesday. We lost with the Falcons on Monday. We gave you the Texans on Sunday. Uh or I'm sure I should say the rain. Yeah, the Texans on Sunday, and uh, also the Wings Sun under before that, and the Liberty prior to that. So nice five and one free pick run. Let's see what we can do here. Hello, hi, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and seven months. Been around a long time. Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. How this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com, and uh, you can try our free $60 worth of their premium picks on the link below. Uh, and in addition to that. Uh, yeah, and uh, we did have a YouTube Premium channel. We put it on hold as we're working on some things with YouTube right now. But uh, we'll start the YouTube Premium back up eventually. But uh, be sure to check our Twitter and our consensus polls, and uh, which has our consensus polls, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports, and tons of other useful content as well. By the way, I will be doing a live show later this afternoon. We didn't do one last night, but I plan on doing a live show every single night. So looking forward to seeing all of you in the live show. In the live show, we do a fun format. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ten minutes. The first five games I'm going to research, and I'm going to tell you which one's my favorite. And eventually, and uh, that's pretty much it. We'll just go about 10, 15 minutes. It'll be a nice little extra content for you to check out. It'll have at least five different games for you. I'll do the first five games. And uh, based on that, I'll tell you which one's my favorite. And it kind of gets us in the right groove for the next day's worth of research. So we're having a live show today, uh, probably around 140 or so, 145 Eastern, if you will. And then we'll do a live show tonight, probably around you know nine o'clock or something like that. Okay, what so what's up in our neck of the woods? Uh, well, we have a four unit baseball selection today, a four unit WNBA selection today. Our football card comes out tomorrow, which we are absolutely stoked about. Uh, our uh, football card. Do note that uh, so far this year in baseball, we're sitting at uh, plus ten thousand one hundred five. In football, we went plus fifty four hundred last year, which uh, and six and three in football to start this year. We were 59% in the NFL. We will have four selections tomorrow. Soccer, 11-6 uh, and six run there. Golf, two winners on Sunday, by the way. Great weekend at the BMW. Six-unit winner on Friday to, uh, as well. We'll start our golf card tomorrow. If you're interested in the golf discount package, we'll give you 25% off the entire golf season uh, if you use the promo code HOLEN125, which will be active until Friday night. And that's H-O-L-E-I-N-O-N-E-25, hole in 125 on the promo code. It'll give you 25% off. MMA, 12 and 4 now uh, with 7-unit MMA selections. All right, let's get to your free pick winner today. Uh, I like, um, there's three selections I, I like here today, but I want to surprise you a little bit. I like the uh, Cincinnati Reds plus the 2 today against Philadelphia. You know, the Phillies won 7-6, to six, but... Um, yesterday but they weren't able to cover the run line the reds are off back-to-back -back losses and they usually do better following back-to-back -back losses lately philly's off back-to-back -back wins and um you have a pitcher here that went five innings three hits and four runs against the phillies last time out in cincinnati and uh he lost last time out and i think he pitches better here remember he went seven innings five hits and no runs against the phillies before that um now he gets them again it's very hard to do that well against a team that he's pitched twice against and um this is a guy that went six innings, four hits, and one run against Baltimore. Six, five, and zero oh against Miami. Six innings, five hits, no runs against Miami. Four innings, three hits, and no runs against the Mets. So I like him here. Um, I think you'll have a Cincinnati Red pitcher that's that's pretty productive. Sanchez does have a three point eight zero ERA, but he had one start where he didn't get more than one out, and uh, he's a relief pitcher by nature for Philadelphia. And uh, frankly, I think the Reds have uh, some success here. And I'll take the Reds plus the two here, plus getting two runs for Cincinnati. I mean, you get the better pitcher, and it's not like the Reds are a horrible offense. Um, you know, you get the you get the Reds plus the two, Nick Lodolo, so you get two runs out of nine runs, which is a pretty decent deal, actually. That's 22% of the run total before the game starts. So let's do that. Uh, as far as uh, Boston is uh, concerned, I like Boston plus the one and a half as well. And, um, you know, it's a high, sort of a high total, I felt like. But Toronto won 9-3 last game against Boston. They've won four or five games. Toronto took three or four from the Yankees. Boston lost 3-9 and 3-5 in the last two games. I think they can bounce back, and I like them plus the run and a half. Toronto put up an eight spot on them in the third inning last game. That's got to be frustrating. A pitcher with a 5 ERA and a pitcher with an 8 ERA. Two uh, high ERA pitchers going here. Berrios went seven innings, five hits, and two runs against Boston last time. So Boston does have revenge. 
Um, keep in mind that uh, six innings, eight hits, and one run against Boston before that. So Berrios has beaten Boston twice. So Boston has should have some success against him facing him for the third time. Um, you know, and I also think you have to note that Bellow went four innings, at nine hits, and four runs against Toronto last time, and I think he'll pitch much better. So I like the Boston Red Sox plus the one and a half. Finally, I like the over between the Angels and the Rays here. I talk about 19% of the public here uh, on a team, which is just nuts. But uh, the total is seven. Did you know the Angels have lost four in a row and they've scored just five runs in the last four games, including a 1-11 to loss to Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay has gone four straight unders and finally went over the last game with 11 runs. Mike Mayer is here for the Angels. He has a 5.22 ERA and he has lost every game he has pitched in. Shane McClanahan here went seven innings, three hits, and no runs against the Angels last time. So the and uh, he went seven innings, two hits, and two runs against Kansas in his loss to Kansas City last time, too. He's given up six walks in his last two games. So I think what happens here is the Angels got embarrassed yesterday, 1-11. to And I think they have revenge against McClanahan. They're going to have some success. And I think they'll be an active dog and send this game over. And uh, the over is 4-1 for the Angels when they face a team with a winning record. And the over is 15-7 and seven for the Angels when the total is at this range. And therefore, I like the over. So... Gave you a couple games today. Your free picks on the Reds plus the two. I like Boston plus the one and a half. That is the Red Sox. And then I also like the Angels Rays over as well. That is your free pick video today. Uh, I'm going to try to give you extra content like this. Today we gave you a free pick in two leans. Hope you guys are doing great. And I'll see you on the live show shortly in about 30 minutes. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment and like and subscribe.